Often the diagnosis of FND is a very confusing process for both the person who's affected and their family and loved ones. There are a number of reasons for this. Uh, often people with FND go through a very, very long process of having assessment after assessment, lots of investigations always coming back as normal, uh, but no real explanation for what's wrong. And then often when an explanation is given, it's explained in a way which makes the person feel that somehow they're making up their symptoms or putting them on. And I think that's often because people are explaining the condition as a psychological disorder or a stress-induced disorder.